This is a Maui Meadows cesspool conversion plan for our community. We all want clean oceans and healthy coral reefs. We don't want to be swimming in polluted waters and we don't want to damage the coral ecosystem. In a study done during and after the last two global bleaching events, they found that over 50% of the coral died or was damaged, yet 20% of the coral actually grew. Why did this happen? Well, scientists have found that healthy coral reefs need just two things to grow. First, they need a large number of fish. Second, they need minimal land-based pollution from cesspools or agricultural runoff. South Maui cesspool runoff is measured monthly by the scientists at the Maui Community for a Clean Ocean. Down here is where Maui Meadows is and along here is where they test monthly for pollution. They found that Maui Meadows cesspools definitely pollute the ocean. Maui Meadows community is up here and down here where they test you can see some of the red triangles showing some of the highest levels of pollution leaching from the cesspools at Maui Meadows. This is from Kiavakapu all the way down south. Cesspools are now illegal in the state of Hawaii and require conversion by 2050. And in the five-year plan for South Maui, currently awaiting approval by the county council, it's suggested that Maui Meadows be required to convert their cesspools by 2035. Now, there are three ways to convert cesspools in Maui Meadows. The first way is to wait for the county to run municipal sewer lines. It costs about $4 million a mile to run sewer lines through the rock, and the county has no plans to do it. The second way is to require each homeowner to convert to septic tanks individually. Septic tanks are only about 50% less polluting than cesspools because they still have leach fields. And it will cost about $30,000 to $50,000 per home to convert. How many homeowners can pay that by 2035 or 2050? The third way is to use an advanced wastewater processing system like they use at military bases and large home clusters, which provides advanced wastewater treatment for small communities. We recommend an advanced wastewater treatment system for Maui Meadows that will be installed in two phases. In phase one, every home will get a small solid waste treatment tank installed along with two inch piping to convey their wastewater to the Kihei Wastewater Treatment Plant. The Kihei Wastewater Treatment Plant has a capacity of over 7 million gallons per day. Currently it is treating less than 4 million gallons per day so there is plenty of capacity and Maui Meadows usage is only about 150,000 gallons per day. Current estimates for the cost of installation of this system are 20 to 25 million dollars for Maui Meadows. Phase two involves creating a green belt fire break around Maui Meadows because we will then ask the Kihei Wastewater Treatment Plant to return the 150,000 gallons of treated wastewater and treated wastewater is called R1 water to Maui Meadows. This R1 water can irrigate a 200 foot wide, two and a half mile long greenbelt fire break around Maui Meadows. 
the cost of this will run about five to six million dollars more which we will ask the county to put in its five-year county improvement plan how does the advanced wastewater system work each home is connected to the system by two inch sewer pipes and all wastewater will be conveyed to the Kihei wastewater treatment plant where it will get treated. Solid waste will be processed at each home in a septic tank like system that will be installed for you. Malaya is in the initial stages of getting a similar system installed. So how do we get the $25 million for phase one? Good question. We start by creating a community facilities district. A community facilities district will create a bond fund run by the county for $10 million. We then ask the state, county, and other grantors to contribute the other $15 million. The bond fund must be repaid in 30 years. So Maui Meadows homeowners will then be required to pay a monthly sewer fee of no more than $100 a month per home and $50 per occupied Ohana to pay back the $10 million bond over the 30 years. Currently, everyone else in Kihei pays monthly sewer fees for municipal sewage. The average sewer bill in Maui is $73 a month according to the Hawaii Cesspool Conversion Working Group. So instead of paying $30,000 to $50,000 to convert to septic individually, you pay $100 a month, it's all done for you, and you help save the coral reef ecosystem while getting an important fire break and a beautiful green belt. Where do we get the other 15 million? We ask the county, the state, and the feds through grants for the rest of the money. You should know that the county and the state both want to convert cesspools because of damage to the coral reefs, which are the lifeblood of the economy and the ecosystem. Several agencies such as the EPA and others also give grants to reduce ocean pollution. It may take a few years to get all the money, but until we have enough, the Community Facilities District bond will not be created and there is no cost to you, the resident. So how do we create a CFD? It requires 25% of Maui Meadows homeowners to petition the county council for the CFD. Once we have 25% of homeowners signed on to the petition, the county council can approve it and create the bond fund. We need 165 signatures to start this process. Creating the CFD will demonstrate to the county and the state that the community wants this to happen and make it much more likely that we can get the funding to complete the entire project. So we are asking you as a Maui Meadows homeowner to petition for a community facilities district. The killing of the coral reefs in South Maui is our problem. If we don't solve it, we lose the reefs. We don't have till 2050 to do it. The reefs are dying at roughly three to 5% per year. We all want healthy coral reefs. We all want clean ocean water and beautiful beaches. And yes, we all want a nice fire break green belt around Maui Meadows. We can have this entire project done in two years once we have the funding. It all starts with you signing the petition for the Community Facilities District. Please consider making a difference now.